Hello everyone, welcome to Everstone. My name is Elf and I bring life to The Sims. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also the little notification button so you don't miss any future episodes of mine. And getting back to this episode, as you may have seen by the title, I have been hacked. And not in, not in such a nice way, it's just it was so bizarre and almost personal. And basically, um, about a week ago, I started getting notifications on my phone telling me that someone was trying to access my Origin account. And I know for a fact this was the time when I was sleeping and also when my computer was powered down. And the worst part is the text messages were coming in Russian. So not only has this person in Russia, I'm not saying they're from Russia specifically, they might have been, you know, blocking the location, using some sort of techy software and trying to access my Origin account. I don't know for what purpose, maybe to get hold of my account, my bank details or my Sims games packs, which I have no idea why you want to do that for. And I've, I've been really, really scared and hurt personally. And I don't think this that was what I should tipped me off over the edge but it's the fact that they also went a long way to access my personal email address not my gmail address which you all are aware of which i which is for my youtube channel but my personal email address and the fact that they made sure to alter my security questions access my emails but just to get access to my origin account and this did not like stop this was multiple times and i have the text messages to show that this was happening to me and frankly i've never been so scared in my life although i have been scared in the past but just like this feels really painful and almost personal however i am very grateful for the origin sorry the electrical art aka ea team for helping me out during this ordeal as I was speaking with my helper who phoned me and he said that I listened to my story and actually helped me get through this so I have been quite scared and frankly really upset for the couple of days so I do apologize for not releasing episodes but this is what I've had to deal with and to ensure this doesn't happen again I had to rework a lot of stuff actually sort out a lot of my security accounts and banking and you know it's really scary because if I can get a hold of my email address my personal and possibly my mobile number then what else can they get hold of if you think about it luckily um, if you don't already if you do have an origin account yourself or if you or any game or any account if you do have an option to put a two-way um, verification uh, in our system I say go for it because luckily enough because I have set up my personal mobile number to be my second verification it blocked the individuals from accessing my origin account because they need in order for them to access it they need to get hold of their special code that get text to me every time I sign into origin and because I kept seeing these messages I was able to identify that some that something was not right so because of this um you know i i'm still really upset as you can tell by my voice i'm really shocked but i just thought i'll let you all know you know about it and it's just, it's been really really difficult to get through this but i'm not going to let this get the better hand of me as i'm back again doing episodes and trying not to tear up because you know i have been crying and I won't cry any further <laughs> and we we are back to doing the sims uh let's build but yeah i'm you know i'm just really shocked and that's all i'll say about it i'm really shocked but that's not going to stop me from continue being a youtuber and releasing videos as i saw actually we are only Two subscribers away from reaching a hundred subscribers oh my gosh and it's been two years since i've been a youtuber and the anniversary is actually coming up next month so 
why not a better way of doing a big competition you know two years in YouTube and if we can get a hundred subscribers or more it will be even better as well because I am going to be releasing what well, this is gonna be one of my biggest giveaways ever and I'll let you all know of that in the future when well, the near future I'm actually working on a lot of stuff in the background and getting back to do my my episodes once more so yeah that's all I have to say for now <laughs> but that's me for today let's get back to the build I know I spent the past five minutes ranting but I think you can pretty much just watch the video and <laughs> see what's going on anyway um we are building uh, the mini Hamptons which is a house inspired by Taylor Swift um, house sorry I'm not like a stalker I'm not like you know I don't go to our house and just take pictures although that will be pretty cool but also kind of frightening because that's our personal life but um, we are decorating the house and I must admit having while going back to this build I noticed that for the house it's relatively small inside it's like possibly a three bedroom house but I wanted it to be more by the same time I guess I don't want it be I don't want it to be any bigger because it's really nice I like how the exterior came out but the interior it was just it felt everything was a bit clumped and I will admit I was not in my A game seeing how I have been going with the hiking etc so my decoration skills were all over the place I have like this blue purplish stars going on in this house and I don't know what's going on people that's all I'll say it's just all over the place but we made it work and the one thing I do like which I'm currently doing is actually putting security cameras all over the house because why not a better way you know first if a celebrity were to live here to have CCTV everywhere I mean that would be a really quick special impact for the sims to do you know? bring out some security bodyguards etc etc <laughs> and you know but um, this house is really nice as I said it's, it feels really cramped as you can tell by the master bedroom I, it's relatively small I might in the future episode redesign how the master bedroom looks like and just push everything forward so there's more than enough space or possibly move the nursery the nursery oh, nursery there we go nursery room which we'll work upon very shortly but if you do download this build please do not feel restricted you're more than welcome to refurnish the rooms restructure it to to fit you etc so don't feel like you have to just leave leave everything the way it is once you once I put it up to be downloaded and yeah because I want to bring you houses and I have actually just came up with a really good plan that I can't get off my head but it actually involves Fallout 4 and th that's all I'm gonna say for now so some of you if well you know what I'm doing right now you might actually know what I'm actually planning to do in the future but I'm just gonna say involves Fallout 4 and that's all that's all I'm gonna say for now until the next episode properly when I do an update episode but <laughs> I am I can't get this out of my head I have been I took my sketchbook I'm right I've been designing how the future episodes are gonna look like and it is I'm, I'm hyped up for this so and hopefully you can all be hyped up with me either way um, I hope you all enjoyed this video I know it's not like a usual video it's more like a ranting video and I hope to see you all soon please look out for my future episodes and please don't forget to subscribe as well so you don't miss any future episodes and it's good talking to you everyone see you soon